everyone, it's Maggie Bot here to do a post Gen Con vlog. I had originally intended on getting on here and vlogging every night as I was at Gen Con when I got back to the hotel, but let me tell you, Indianapolis is not at its finest Wi-Fi settings during a convention with 50,000 people. So I had a lot of trouble uh, getting enough juice to actually upload stuff without really, really affecting how I was doing everything. So I just took pictures of everything I saw. I tried to jot down notes and I should have some cool content. I should have a couple vlogs about some of the games I saw. Um, I spent a lot of this trip just talking to people for work so I didn't do quite as much gaming as you would expect over four days. And I also didn't realize that Wednesday there is a trade day. So next year I'm definitely going to be flying in the Tuesday or maybe the Wednesday morning, attending Wednesday, attending all of Thursday, and then I'm planning on taking a train ride home next year. So once the con is out, we'll have our big old stack of games, and we'll just take the train and play games for a few days as we get back to Seattle. So pretty soon I'm going to book some Amtrak tickets and make that a thing. I'm hoping to drag a bunch of friends into it too, because I think it'd be a really fun idea. Um, a few of the people I've talked to say that that was a really cool idea for them too. Uh, most of them are still planning on training on the way out there as well. I don't believe I'll be doing that. But, you know, the, the one week is probably enough for me without doing it for a week and a half because that long without any time to myself would probably kill me. Um, so I'll just do this in bits and pieces and I'll, I'll spend more time with uh, things like Five Tribes or Panamax, which were really the chunky, beautiful stuff that I really wanted to talk about. But let me just say real quick that Gen Con is worth it. If you can, please go. But um, I hope it doesn't turn into the pack situation where next year a bunch of people try and get tickets, but they can't. Uh, we will see. But now I'm home. I've slept very, very little. I had <sighs> every intention in the world of doing at least this video yesterday, but it just didn't happen. <laughs> So I've talked a lot without talking about games, but let me tell you the, the few things that I did see. Um, so I kind of did the loop through the exhibitor hall, and I got to see a card game I was pretty excited about from Legion Supplies was this foretold game. And it's kind of like he tried to make a board game version of playing EDH and Magic. And um, I, I hope if he sees this, he knows I'm not trying to insult him, but he didn't realize how anti-retail saying, yeah, it's four players and it's only two, two and a half hours. And I was like, are you kidding? It's like a $50 card game that you sell to X Magic players that's two and a half hours. So though I had a blast playing it and I think it's a really cool thing, I don't think it has the potential to be a giant sell. It'll just be one of those niche kind of games for those of us who are willing to put a few hours into a game with no problem. Uh, I also got to see, let's see, we played the new Coup Reformation, which is the expansion to Coup. Uh, I have my Kickstarter copy coming in any day now. I think it's actually scheduled to arrive on my doorstep on the 24th. And so Coup is that, uh, it's a part of the Resistance world and you have secret identities and you're trying to kill each other. And Reformation added a mechanic where, and this is in front of everyone, so everyone knows what side you're on. There's two loyalties. You can be against them or with them. And you start the game with half and half. And on a turn, rather than taking one of the regular things to do, you can pay money to either flip one of your own loyalties over, or you can pay two money and flip somebody else's. And if someone's on your team, you can't directly attack them. Um, and all the money goes onto this little card, and so if you don't have a duke and you're claiming not to have a duke, you can actually take all of that money as your turn. Um, this was a really interesting one. I'm really glad I have a copy coming. Um, it was really fun. Once everybody is on the same loyalty, it turns into a free-for-all. And so if you allow it to do that, then just by flipping one person's loyalty, you're targeting them. It's kind of like if someone has to coup and you flip the loyalty of the person right after them or something, you're, you're basically forcing someone else to shoot someone. It's really neat that way. My biggest downside for that one in particular is that captains got worse. So in the regular game, a captain steals too many unless the person is a captain or an ambassador, or in this case, an inquisitor. And then in this case, you can't steal from someone if they're a captain, an inquisitor, or they're on your team, which is up to 
almost all the table or about half the table most of the time. So I would probably have to write a variant or find another set of rules to put in there because um, it, the captain became kind of, became kind of dead weight because the only time it was good was in the two one person versus one person showdown because captain beats Duke and captain beats a lot of things in the showdown. Um, in that same room, so that was indie boards and cards, and in that same room on the other side was Asmati Games, and they had copies of Penny Press, copies of Consequential. Um, they had their kind of their full line. The only game we actually had time to sit down and play was Equinox, which comes out this week, and that's a little tile laying game where once you place a tile, it takes an effect. And there are two sided, so they're light and dark, and you're trying to have kind of area control by the end of the game. Interesting game, um, very, very abstract. I know it's not Chris's design, but he's been talking a lot about it. I think it's poorly timed because it's coming out about two weeks after Impulse, and if anything, he needs to focus a little more on Impulse because that's going to be one of those big hits again. It's going to sell as well as Innovation because most of us are obsessed with Innovation, so anything that comes out by the same designer is going to be an instant pickup. Uh, so that's probably enough chattering for now. I've got some full write-ups and definitely a video about uh, Five Tribes and Panamax and Imperial Settlers. Um, I also got a chance to play a bunch of other little things, but mostly uh, those are the ones I'd like to hit on. But um, what did you guys hear or see do this week? Did you pick up any games? Uh, talk to me because apparently I'm in a chatty mood. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>